So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building Gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Today I'll be demonstrating you one of the best alternatives for chat GPT that is H2O GPT created by H2O.ai. It does provide you with a lot of options. You don't, it maintains your privacy. You can log in with gibberish usernames and passwords. It does provide you with a UI based rack system also. You can play around with the document that you have uploaded. It does provide multi-model LLMs also and what not, a lot of options. You can also compare different LLMs. So here you can see that uh, the best part as a, what I saw is from a given list of models, you can choose any combination of models and eventually you can have an output for all the models for the same prompt. So you can have a comparison as well. So let's get started. What is Python? So as you can see that uh, all the four models are running together. Some of them have given their outputs also. Some of them are still writing it. This is Mixtrel, this is Llama 70 billion, this is Hugging Face model, this is OpenA. So you can see the well uh, discriminators also with their logos. Apart from that, they have provided interface for summarization, extraction also. So direct extraction, direct summarization can be done without using any prompt. So that's the best part. You can redo, undo, save, clear everything. As you can see, it got cleared. Now, next, what I will be trying to do, you can also include web search here. So if you tick and then go for a term like what is status for India versus England, fifth test. So this test match is happening right now. So let's see the output for different models. What are they able to get with including the web search? So here you can see that all the models are able to uh, access internet also. That's the best part. You can also upload documents. So I'll be next showing you how to upload a document for RAG purposes. So here you can see the upload option. You can upload images also. You can upload PDFs also. So let me upload my uh, resume as a matter of fact. So I will do a clear stop and then clear rate Mehul Gupta on his data science skills on a scale of 10 using the resume. So I've already uploaded my resume as you saw. Now let's see what the output the models are able to give. Here you can see that some of them are generating uh, gibberish answers also like as I saw they are uh, as I can see in H2 GPT model the fire which is telling I'm done some courses from edX Linda which is not the case but yeah the summaries are generally fine as I can say they are not able to rate as of now but yeah the output is good and eventually you can have interaction with your documents also as you can see now there are other options also where you can filter which documents you want to interact which documents you don't want to interact document viewer is there if I select this particular document that I've just now uploaded You can see the text also, as you can see here. This is the text that it has been it has extracted from the PDF. Chat history is there. Expert systems are there. So basically, you can provide a default prompt, summary pre-prompt, summary prompts, pre-conversation input for instruct prompt types. Everything is there. You can select it to be an expert in particular field. So if you see here, Python tutor, ML tutor, Zebra problem solver, generate doc QA. You can select an expert from here. System options are they given? Chat height, PDF height, so you can play around with the UI also. And then if the particular uh, URL is not working, you can have this host is present at six other places also. So that's the best part. It's, it appears to be the best uh, chat GPT alternative so far for me. And I really liked it. I would love you also to go try it out and tell your reviews about it. Thank you so much.